what's up guys welcome back to the channel and I know what you're gonna say what's going on with the IROC well if you follow me on Instagram you know that the IROC has been done for quite some time now it looks amazing it runs amazing I'm not being biased just because I built it it looks great um, the IROC is here unfortunately it's midnight um, he brought it by so I can install some aftermarket gauges and gauges have been installed uh, so I figured tomorrow should be a pretty nice day out I'll go ahead and kind of get my final shots of it and get that video uploaded to you guys the purpose of this video though was to uh, kind of go through the conversion of my PM30 MV mill uh, originally purchased this some months back and uh, it was a manual knee mill and this is my first CNC conversion kind of my quarantine project if you will and uh, kind of run down some of the specs things that I've done uh, started off again with the PM30 manual knee mill purchased uh, Arizona video 99 or Arizona 99 video his uh, double net ball screws I'm running uh, clear path servos on the X Y and Z <coughs> top there uh, acorn CNC 12 software and hardware I'll show you the box below there what else do we got flood coolant I'm running priest tools his uh, power draw bar kit Tormach tooling system still kind of getting my tooling library together here it's what I've gotten so far kind of half inch down to an eighth inch end mills Drewtronics touch probe superfly cutter got some chamfer mills there in the back just trying to uh, figure this all out to be honest with you um, got my wireless MPG acorn there intel nook and touch screen on the wall let's see what do we got kind of where it is right now kind of a long process this is i mean cnc machining is totally new to me i mean i'm been 3d printing for years but when it came to cnc milling yeah, it de I mean, it's definitely a learning curve for me. <clears throat> I just literally cut my first part tonight from Fusion 360. Not, I mean, I'm, I'm happy in the sense that I didn't break anything, but um, there's definitely a learning curve that I'm gonna have to uh, kind of figure out, figure this all out. But willing to do it. I'm actually excited to learn. So can't wait to kind of dive in head first on this one uh, the enclosure initially I made this enclosure in CAD on uh, Fusion 360 and brought it to life it's a uh, two and a half inch square steel with two and a half kind of 90 degree brackets I wanted something stout something solid and this by far is that so definitely happy with it plexiglass everywhere you can kind of see through this thing at any angle which is what I wanted happy with that uh, I put sliders on the first set of doors kind of like that this thing closes as you can see and then the second half of the doors are hinged so you kind of just lift up on the pin here the door pops off and then you can open this door kind of to reach behind the mill and uh and work on things if you need to so that, I'm pretty happy with that uh the basin uh i do have the dxf file for the basin along with the uh the cad for the enclosure itself I uh, sent it over to a buddy of mine named Chris. Shout out to him. Um, they have a CNC plasma cutter. They, I sent him the file. 
CNC plasma cutter. They cut it out, bent it up, had it back to me in a day. Amazing, just, I mean, it slipped right in and here it is now. Flood coolant comes down to the bottom here, slides out, coolant there. You can see the drain, all kind of ends back up into the basin here. <clears throat> so that's where I'm at. Yeah, really can't wait to start making some of my own parts. I mean, I got tired of sending my CAD drawings or designs to uh, places like e-machine shop, them charging me an arm and a leg, waiting a month to get my part. You know, I just couldn't do it anymore. <clears throat> and unfortunately, um, I can't afford an actual CNC machine. Uh, pretty expensive, as many of you might know. But a cheaper alternative was to uh, convert my own mill to a CNC. And so far, so good. No, I got no complaints. Uh, there, like I said, there was a learning curve. The actual wiring of it, <clears throat> I I enjoy wiring, so I took it all in stride and and uh, couldn't be more happy with it. Everything works as it should. There, I didn't have any crazy catastrophes or problems. Plus, the um, Acorn Community Forum is just amazing. I mean. Marty CNC garage Franco those guys are just have a wealth of knowledge. So uh, I mean Couldn't ask for anything more Quick look around the shop We got the 72 Chevelle if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do so at the bearded garage um, You'll know that I mean if you if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that this kind of came in as a bare frame that was powder coated uh, got the suspension in got the rear end in brakes in uh, got the uh, coilovers in kind of got it to where it is now where it's on its own wheels um, owners pretty pretty happy with the work thus far the um, go through it really quick it's a 408 stroker I believe PRC 2.5 Texas speed heads um, wise go pistons fully forged bottom end basically that should be a pretty stout motor I want to say the rear rims are 20 by 12 I think it's a 345 if I'm not mistaken tire maybe a 355 it's pretty cool. It's uh, ABC Performance. It's their mini tub kit. Let's see. There. Not a fan of whoever welded it in, but uh, yeah, it's done now. So this will kind of be the next project coming up. It's running CVF accessories. Got the RPM Stage 5 RL 60E transmission sitting next to it there. F1A Pro Charger sitting over there. Engine for the Chrysler. Man, I was so close to getting ready to getting this thing installed and had to stop. The Chevelle came in, had to put my own kind of stuff on the back burner gearing up for it super excited started Sarah coding all the parts and yeah I had to stop get the Chevelle going again if you don't follow me on Instagram please do so uh, just finished an 06 trailblazer LS3 swap in it with the it's a stroker motor as well trick flow heads sounds amazing it looks amazing i'm hoping the owner of the trailblazer will come by tomorrow as i'm filming the kind of final scenes of the irock so i can kind of get that thing on on video as well but this is where we're at hopefully uh get some videos rolling out to you guys soon 
If you're not subscribed, please do so. I appreciate it all. Thanks again, guys, and uh, hopefully you'll be seeing some videos soon. Take it easy.